everyone, GameplayBits247 here. Welcome to the first episode of my Idle Champions gameplay series for the PC. So everyone, this game has just been released on Steam. Now, I'm not too sure if this is an early access title, but I've never actually seen it before. So, I'm assuming it's a brand new game, okay? It is free to play, and it's apparently... I, I think it's one of the games that's based off of, you know, the whole clicker genre, obviously, in the idle genre. So it's on idle, clicker here, etc, etc. I'm sure well. Um, but yeah, either way, I do hope that you all do enjoy. Please remember to hit that like and subscribe button if you want to see more of this on my channel. Now, with my past record with idle games, I don't try to be the best player, but I do try and actually uh, just have fun. So yeah, don't take this guide as 100% like professional by any means necessary. You're not going to find that here. It's just me having fun with the game and you guys coming along for the journey with me, alright? So let's kick it off now. We have some sort of Viking warrior here. Expect. Why don't you spend the gold or that gold you've... I love these accents. Collected. Okay. Let's level him up. Level 2. Aha, my damage has increased. Thank you, friend. No worries. We're versing a null, a level 1 null right now. That's the end of that null. So, yeah, obviously I have to click. Now, the problem is, I'm used to Zombital, everyone, where um, using the keyboard is actually counts as a click. But no, we are going back to the old school way. Uh, manual clicks only. So, left mouse click only by the looks of it. Interesting stuff. There's a bird. If we click on the bird, yes, you do get gold from the bird. Okay, so there is actual clickables as well in this game. Looks like it is the uh, magpies there, or the crows. I'd call them magpies, but I think it's a crow. <laughs> uh, finally, this area's quest is complete. Click the arrow to move on to the next area. Okay, so we can, can continue to grind here if we really want. Nah, we'll move on to the next area. The game wants us to. Uh, top right corner, there's actually some sort of quest description there. Gnolls aren't uncommon on the Black Forest Road, but these seem especially cruel. Okay, level 2. Ah, I've leveled up enough to earn an upgrade. Click to apply it. Increases the damage of... What's his name? Nor Bruno we'll go with. Powerful now. 100% damage increase there, which is quite nice. Obviously, there is idle damage as well. It seems he actually, like, does more idle damage than anything. Look at that. He actually one-shots the mob with the idle damage there. So, I can manually do my clicks and level up my click damage in the bottom left corner of the screen there. As you can see, there is click damage. Uh, there's the actual heroes there as well. So, that's pretty neat. I didn't realize you can actually upgrade the click damage there. Interesting. At the moment, I'm only doing, what, one click damage, yeah, per click there. Okay. Area complete. Look, this is level three. This is their camp, okay. Old camp, everyone. Nearly gone to level ten. Need to level up my click damage as well as soon as possible here, or we're not going to progress that much. Increase another 100% damage. Yes. Done. Very good. He's now doing 80 DPS. Oh, he actually attacks quite slowly, doesn't he? It's not even per second. Have like a timer on that or something? Second or countdown. I think he probably attacks every, what, four seconds or so? You'd, you'd go with, yeah. yeah. As I said, by the way, this is obviously free to play, so I would love for you guys to actually play along with me. So, hey, you can even teach me some tricks of the game, okay? Just trust me, with the idle games, it's hit and miss. Sometimes I do really well, sometimes I don't do well at all, and it takes forever for me to learn. A lot of those crows are coming by there. Area complete as well. I want to level up my click damage, but I feel like it's going to take me a while here, so let me just keep leveling up this guy. Move on to the boss. So I'm assuming this is the boss that has a skull there. Ruins seem to be in the style of shield. Perhaps a small farmstead or outpost. Search the dwarf relics. Am I not on the on the boss? There's a skull there though. Am I not allowed to access that just yet? Perhaps not. Interesting. Time will tell how long that will take. Got enough gold to recruit another champion. Click here to recruit Celeste. She would join me in the fight against the gnolls. Okay, we just hired Celeste. 
Celeste does 151 damage, really? Last upgrade I got gave me a formation ability. It closer to Celeste, or Celeste closer to me, increased me damage. Ah, I love fighting beside me companions. Oh, so the formations, hey? Put him at the front of the line, and we'll put her behind him. Doing 153 damage now, is that right? Interesting stuff. She's a cleric, so she's actually doing range damage there, guys. I'm just leveling up my click damage as well, just to help speed things up a bit. Just leveled up Celeste a bit as well. How close does he need to be? Like, direct... Oh, directly! Oh, wow! I just realized what, what the game means. Directly opposite of him. Interesting. Yeah, that makes sense now. No worries at all. We have 14 out of 15 Dwarven Relics collected. Ah, oh, there we go. Area has been completed. Good. Very, very good indeed. The other way as well, so you can quickly see the damage and stuff. There we go. Here we go. This is the boss. Great. Okay, we're going to verse the boss any second now, guys. Get ready. A lot of monsters coming in here. Oh, God. There's the boss. The boss is quite strong by the looks of it. We might actually take some hits here, I suspect. Unless we can keep him at bay. Nah, no way. It's not looking too good for us. Just leveled up the cleric some more. That boss is super powerful right now. I don't know if we're actually meant to defeat the boss. I don't think we are, because he's very, very strong. He's managed to actually defeat my my heroes here. Wow. Super strong indeed. Did win. My click damage can't even beat him. I'm just going to let him go. Let's jump back then. We'll jump back to level 4. Seems to be the only thing I can do. Just quickly grind, hey? I would imagine so. Try and take on the boss level again, I guess. Next upgrade. As Bash Ultimate Attack. Can't read it properly. Ah, oh, here we go. Ultimate Attack. You can choose when you use it by clicking the button. Ultimates have a short cooldown between use, but are quite powerful. 60 second cooldown there. 6k damage. Sweet. That could be quite useful for me, actually. Let's head over then. Try and engage this boss. Increases damage of all champions by 100%. Fantastic. The cleric just gave me a very nice boost of damage. Which is nice for me, of course. Comes that boss again. Not sure if we're going to be able to take him down still. I guess only time will tell with this one. Upgrading that cleric quickly. Choose the bash. I'll just use the bash then. Oh! One shot of the boss! The bash did work, and now we have a chest. Treasure chest. What have we got? Gold. 8.26 gold coins. 8.56, and a sharpened axe increases the damage of Brunor by 125%. Cool. I hope that's his name, Brunor or Brenor. I'm not too good with names. Done. Sweet. At least we got a nice damage increase. Click on my portrait for a character sheet. Here is automatically equipped when you get it. Great. Sharpened axe is equipped. Fantastic, baby. Quite a fun game so far, I'm not gonna lie. Just hired someone new here. Group 3 champions. Increase the damage of all champions by 1%. Who is this lady? Nail, is it? And see the cooldowns of attacks, by the way. Six second cooldown there. Four second cooldown on him. And eight second cooldown on her. I think that's a her, hopefully. Let's replace these people. Put them at the front line. Very good. Um. He still get the damage increase, or what? I move. Yeah, that's all right. Fine then, okay. Yeah, dude, we're dominating right now, by the way, guys. This chick's pulling off some massive, massive damage, mind you. Now we're versing the bandits. The bandits are being beaten down with ease. Trying to increase our click damage a bit here. 150, no, 143 damage per click now. 
be helpful for us, obviously. Leveling up the cleric there a bit as well. Doing pretty well here. Hang on, let's have a look. Try and skip to the next stage. Nice. The bandits appear to be trying to kidnap some of the traveler folk. Rescue the villagers. I need to rescue 10 villagers. Okay. Shouldn't be too hard. Upgrade the cleric a bit there. Crusader's mantle increases base damage of Crusaders next to Celeste by 100%. Fantastic. There we go. Massive DPS increase yet again. Very, very cool. Just trying to save these travelers here. Seems their heads drop. Interesting. Look, yeah, the enemy's got a bow. Range enemies can attack from afar, but you can click on them to interrupt their attacks if you're quick about it. Four hundred percent damage increase there. Wow. Barely confident that's what it just said. That's insane if it was what it said. Jeez. And these archers quickly. There we go. Great. Um, nice. Area is completed. We're almost up to the level 10 boss. Stage. Pretty. Bring it to 50 here. Still got to kill these uh, bandits by the looks of it. No worries, game. Rally. Increases the base damage of champions in the same column. Brennel. Oh. Very cool. And we have a lot of enemies now coming in. Upgrade Cleric some more, I think, there. By column, I think he means this, doesn't he? I'm really sure the game would mean this. Right? Yeah, it must be. Damage is getting increased there. Perhaps. Damage drops there, doesn't it? Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out the best way for damage. Damage has gone up a huge amount. Ah, here we go. Column's sake. Cool. There we go, everyone. Damage drops there. Damage still drops there. Goes up there. Alright, we're just going to put the damage like that then. There we go, that's how we do it then, I guess, for now. Interesting. I love this warrior now. 100% damage increase, I'm fairly sure she just got. Very, very neat. Just increase my click damage some more there. Good next stage. I'm trying to understand the concept of the whole, you know, columns and stuff, obviously. I'll move then, whoops. There we go. Boss is coming up slowly but surely here. Fill up the cleric a bit more. Aha, here's a captain. This is going to be a little bit rough for us, I think. Oh no, captain's dead. Ooh, that was easy. Sweet, level 10 adventurer. Sweet. I'm happy with that. Just got a chest. Chest going to give us... Five different cards to choose from. Steel Beard Clips. Decreases the damage of all champions by 65%. Strong Magical Greatsword. Ooh. Nail's ultimate attack by 20 seconds. Delays it. Or oh, reduces the cooldown. Instantly gain 30 minutes worth of gold. Sweet. Indian Potion of Clairvoyance. Increases all gold found by 200%. Last two minutes. Got some duplicate gear in that chest. Duplicate gear makes the item you already have in the slot more powerful. Increase effect by 0.2%. Cool, I'll take that. Thank you very much, game. Potion from a chest. Okay, you got a potion. You got a bounty contract as well. Bounty contract? 
to give me the gold, won't it? Yeah, it will. Sweet. It's a new area here. Wolves. Ooh. New hero, by the way. Who's this? Laxal, is it? Okay. Let's hire him. Increase all damage by 1%. Complete area 10. Yeah, it's done. What does this guy do? That's the question now, isn't it? I move the cleric there. S boost still. I'm trying to figure out the best way to do this, guys. Damn, he gets big damage boost, doesn't he? Far out. Oh, even bigger DPS boost there from the column uh, increase. Thanks to Bruno. Very neat. We're pulling off some massive, massive damage. Yeah, the game's definitely fun, everyone. I'm enjoying it a lot. I reckon I might wrap up the episode here. Look, thank you all so much for watching. I do hope that you all have enjoyed today's episode. If you want to see more of Idle Champions on my channel, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Join my Discord as well. Links in the description below. Have a great day, everyone. I'll speak to you all tomorrow for some more Idle Champions. See you around, guys.